go back on another video and this is talking about why you should not buy a bike with 135 mil axle at the rear and straight stereo tube at the front these are the reasons why and let's explain okay now this is going to explain the reason why you shouldn't touch bikes like these with 135 mil at the back the first thing you must um, keep in consideration you and you must understand all the wheels that you're going to upgrade to they're going to be 148 mil meaning that is the width of the axle what's at the back of the bike so we come where we are right now you see from this side over here down to the other side inside the frame the dropouts you're gonna want that to be 148 mil here's the reason why because you have access to all the wheels from the lowest mid to the highest uh, ranges of wheels meaning you have all the options of upgrade the second reason why because a lot of those wheels all support micro spline was from Shimano and XD drives was from SRAM so that way you can run any group set on the market that you want onto your bicycle that way you ain't being limited with this bike what is 135 you are limited to SRAM NX group set and the Shimano Dior group set now when that cassette at the back went out of stock it was out of stock so long I was worried what happens if my cassette wore out or my chain broke and it took so long and the moment I was like oh my god what am I gonna do the cassette and chain finally came back in stock that's why when you have bikes like this make sure you buy yourself at least two spare cassettes and two spare chains and put it down because once these things go out of stock and then if it happens to your bike you don't know when they're coming back so that's one thing you've got to keep in mind always buy an extra one or two maximum put it down with the chain as well now with the front part with the X-Sync 2 you don't need to worry about that because that's the same chain ring what's on the GX X1 and XX1 now because of your wheel 135 that limits the group set that can be run into the bike as I said to you before can they run on micro spline and XD drive that's one thing you got to keep in mind now the next thing is is your headset you see with the headset now if you can't fit um, tapered forks onto your bike that means you're limited by what you can put the front so at first when I did a lot of research I had to do a lot of research until I found a video of a guy showing that you can actually go tapered now when I didn't know about that the only forks I had was some old um, rock shock um, coil outdated suspension from nearly nearly seven eight years ago and I goes I can't run in that type of suspension then I found out that you can get yourself the Hope EC44 EC means external cup 44 is the internal diameter of the head tube the top one is ZS44 ZS means zero stack 44 means the internal circumference inside the head tube so I went for the 44 zero stack and external cup at the bottom to run tapered these are the RockShox Recons 2017 models and they're boost so the 15 mil axle at 110 mil in width of the axle so now by getting the, the headset put onto the bike now I can run any front any forks at the front at 100 mil the only issue that limits the bike very greatly and the greatest greatest fear of all time of touching bikes which don't have boost hubs to it is this that 135 back wheel was very limited so we're talking about let's say Hope Pro 4 Hope Pro 5s um, 
you could buy the wheel sets what's you got you got the hope for is 23 hope for is 26 however you don't really want to go hope for is 30 because they're designed for bigger bigger tires so because this is takes up to 2.35s it'll be the hope for is 26 that will be the one that will support from like the 2.35 and upwards now if you can't get the pro 4 version you have to get the pro 5 version and you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get those hope wheels onto your bike and then you have to put your SRAM NX or your SRAM uh, sorry and your Shimano Dior onto the bike so the main issue with these bikes is that you're gonna have a hard time of getting wheels for the bike especially for the back end and especially the group set so your two greatest fears on this bike limited group set limited wheels and the group set it's been limited because of the back wheel so it's the back wheel that limits the group set that's the main issue if the back wheel was 135 xd drive or 135 micro spline drive then the limit on the group set comes off and you can run anything you want on the bike it's only because the wheel at the back is 135 and it's hyper glide it literally limits every single group set except for the older 10 speed 9 speed um um i think i said eight speed seven speed um those older group sets and only the SRAM NX and the Shimano Dior you can do so the biggest issue is just that so I strongly recommend don't buy this bike if you're a person who loves upgrade if you're an upgrade type of person don't buy it that's the one thing I say to you if you really want to have all the customization options and everything to be able to do to your bike I, will, I strongly recommend you not to buy this bike because once you buy this bike you're gonna realize the serious limitations that can come with it and once that happens then there's nothing you can really do about it because because of the limitations so when you're going to shop before you go out then you buy the high-end version of the rock hopper sport I'll give you an example the one I got is just a sport version but then they got the elite what's the highest version but even if you spend 1200 pound for that bike 1200 yes they'll put on the the single speed the rock shock judy forks and everything like that however once you need to change that cassette can you find that cassette that's an issue can you find the cassette that's the one thing that will make you think why did I spend £1,200 on the bike now the cassette's rolling out how am I meant to get the bike running that's the one thing you must keep in mind so do not buy a bike was 135 if you're willing to upgrade if you're not willing to upgrade you could buy it as like a one time bike once it's gone it's gone or you're gonna be searching around the whole internet just trying to get just trying to get the bike to run. So go with a bike with 148. You wanna go with a bike with what's got boost hubs. Go with a bike with boost. Don't go for non-boost bikes. Stick to boost bikes. Bikes what comes with boost hubs is the way to go. Cause you go for a bike with non-boost, that non-boost will limit every single group set that you need for your bike so just keep that in mind so you may like the bike here and you go oh but I like it but it's nice I don't really want an expensive bike but I'm telling you once you can't get hold of that back end of that bike your whole bike is gone and you would have wasted your money so if you're going to go for a bike bare minimum go for a bike what comes with boost hubs it's the best advice I can give you you don't want to be touching this I went for this because I took the risk of buying it and 
I knew what I got myself into. I knew. Then later on down the line, I was like, do you know what? I should have just bought this. I should have just went for the um, the bike I should have went for. Because right about now, I would have had my SRAM GX on the bike. Or I could have went for the Shimano um, DOXT on the bike. I could have had I could have had the Hope Fortis on the bike long time ago. Um, I could have put on the the Rock Shock Pike forks. Everything I could put onto the bike because because I have the option to do so. But then I was then I was thinking about oh, but what about if someone sees the bike? What about if it attracts too many thieves? What about it brings too much attention? I don't want to be fighting people just because someone wants my bike. I think about all these negative things. I go, nah, 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 I want to go for this one. I don't want people in my case. I don't want to be stopped all the time and people ask, oh, is that your bike? Is that your bike? Sometimes you just want to be able to ride your bike in peace. Like when you when you got nice things, nice things just brings a lot of attention. But then again, I really knew exactly what I was signing up for, so. That's how it goes, so if you're looking for a, a bike, go for a bike with boost. You're probably thinking, well, you went for it for yourself. Why didn't why didn't you go for the boost? The thing is I really wanted to go for the boost. It's just where I was living at the time before, it wasn't recommended for me to have a bike in a place where I was living before because the place I was living before the people won't really like good so because I moved to a better area now I can have the bike now so now it's different now because I'm in a place I can have it now and it's alright so all I'm saying forget about non-boost if you want to go for a bike that's got boost and I'm telling you you definitely be good